world in voting which I thought I was gonna die, that's it, I'm leaving, I'm not getting myself killed for nothing. You're alive, I hold the two waking deem loads and you signal hanley took them both down as expected by Alito. Like the cliche always assesses the enemy, that's why I was conf confident that she would come back in one piece. If you see me with my arm all scuffed up like this, I guess it's only natural for you to worry about my me going up to the surface. Instead of worrying about me, I want you to send your thoughts to those who have fallen in battle. The Jove Squad that was slain by the Red Elgo, they were priceless comrades, let's have a moment of silence. I can't perform spirit resurrection. All I could do was turn them into zombies. Would have been able to cast the secret out of spirit resurrection in exchange for 20,000 lives. The annihilation of the Falmouth army and the res resurrection of Valdora. Seemed to be trying to covertly manipulate information, but back then I used to live in Serion, so I happened to come across the truth. Valdoa went on the main page, killing everyone, and Rimuru quelled the dragon's wrath. If mere words could calm down the dragon, then this world would be a much easier place. Salute 20,000 souls is probably the truth. On top of that, Sarion and Tempest, Joan and Hands. The only way that we can counter a powerful threat is by banding together. If the threat's themselves shown forces what can we possibly do a woman should know what i intercepted the report as well as the fact that i'm get hiding in serion she lets me roam around freely it's more like they are we are livestock wandering through a cage don't you think so how did you know we were here you can't hide the stents of most scenario, you know? Which one of the royals hired you? They want to eliminate me because I discovered what happened to Tempest. I'm no longer welcome here. I'm also curious about how the plane is progressing. You guys came at the perfect time. I gather you two train since you are most scenarios. If you help me carry my stuff out of this place, I'll spare your lives. How does that sound? You mercenaries and your vulgar way of speaking tires me to no end. Seems that they have no desire to extract information from me. In that case, the client probably isn't someone important. I bet they just want to use me as a trophy. I suppose my head would command a decent price. Why so tight-lipped? Too scared to talk? Seems like you have lost all of that confidence from all you. Cowards couldn't even attack me while I was drifting off. Who are you calling cowards? You're the one who was tongue-tied. You sure have a lot to say for someone who was just rudely barged into my house. Besides, you have got all it all wrong. I don't mind someone who plays dirty. What? Where am I? Who's that? Where are we? It's the doctor to see you. What's this over? I know I'm the one who gave you these hallucinations, but seriously, you're too nosy. Where is this? I'm back. If you don't want to see that again, kneel and bow before me. Stop yapping. There's nothing more annoying than an arrogant idiot who doesn't know when to shut up. 
Is this gravity magic? You dare to call me stupid and yet you continue to make these manless claims. Why can't I lift my head up? That's because fear's been etched deep into your psyche. Your body is subconsciously reacting. I'll ask this once again. Will you help me carry my sails? Stuff? I hate to admit it, but that moment she said that I'd be free from these those nightmares, the weight on me disappeared. I like the people who are obedient. Now, if you don't mind, see those four stone tablets propped up against the wall. Grab them all. So, where do you want these? Just keep holding on to them. I'll carefully transport you guys to my new place. Ciao. I meant to carefully transport you guys, but it looks like I carelessly transported you. But man, everyone's dying. Scream sounds pretty much the same. Why did people start classifying things as catastrophes and disasters when it's all the same? I'm the same. Everything that could kill me is a catastrophe. I can't hate the fact that these very catastrophes are the ones one in this world at will. So, oh fuck, I missed it. Looking back now, our members have gone substantially. There's no good or evil in killing. Those who call me evil are basing it solely on their personal ideals. Despite them being mass murderers themselves, the savages pretend to be righteous. Everyone get back to your posts. Are you hurt? Thanks to my healing magic, I'm okay. For some reason, I was just reminded of the initial pain. But thanks to what I went through, I remember something when you are about to do die. It doesn't matter who's killing you or how it's going to be done. It feels the same. I just remembered about those stone tablets I made back when I hated the thought of dying. Into the bowels of the underground city. It's up ahead. Up ahead is why have we come here again. Last time we were here, we left a strange presence, right? Felt. Uh, how strange we haven't encountered any enemies. I can vaguely feel the presence, but what's... This uh, those strange feelings like they are close, but at the same time far away. The reason I could feel the presence so close was because our position and the enemies were at close coordinates on the map. The spot was where I felt the presence the most, so digging here will probably lead to the hard day. I'll do excavating with Belzebub. It looks like we'll end up digging right through uh, the old tof. At this point, I only think it has some ruins, so feel free. If it goes even further down, it's too dark to see anything. How deep does it go? Wait, this is way lower than what I'd imagine. Okay, I'll do a bit of digging on my own from here now. I'll have my little wood, it's unfathomably deep hole. Don't worry about me, once I reach the enemy's hideout, I'll transport everyone in there. Right, so only please be careful. The sunlight's barely reaching now, it's so dark I have no idea how far down I've gotten. Oh, I want to descend carefully, but it would be much faster if I just dropped down. All hands activate transport technique. Yes, ma'am. What the? It seems that a large amount of blades have been transported because all they're all unfinished weapons, but the blades have been imbued with the same effects as the swords. I can only imagine the abuse that the droves have had to endure. You must be hurt. You have lost a ton of magicals. I'm just gonna ram through this. 
Chains put the second batch of blades, the leftover blades supplied with basic techniques. Are they throwing knives and forks? I guess they don't care what blades they use, as long as it's been impl being applied with an uh, effect. I assume they must have had droves working on them with battles like this in mind. What is the weird sensation? It doesn't hold, but I feel like I'm being squeezed. You won't be in hot, you won't be hot in your condition. But most life forms would be likely perish before reaching the end of the hole. This place is huge, just ain't no hollow. It's a nation. Repair and mapping. This place is huge, this so ain't no hiding, it's a nation. I have confirmed a total of 3,721 different types of magic engravings. I found two tiny magic circles have been engraved on almost every crevice and stone in this area. Except for the one you pointed to is currently active, there's over a thousand different kinds of magic being cast. And not just a thousand being cast, but a thousand different kinds. I'm currently unable to detect all the life forms in this area. The well-maintained world, what existence, who we must deal with is. The magic circle planted everywhere. He seemed to have been created by cliche. It felt as if I was inside a mind full of... All her past experiences, there aren't any enemy, many as many enemies as there were in Falmouth, but the number of magic devices is ridiculous. The cave ahead of it is full of pillars that are barely preventing this area from collapsing, and that would have devastating effects on the surface and Dragon, Sarion, and even Tempest. Now this cave continues underneath Tempest, but if it collapses, will not one of our enemies end up getting buried as well? Planted tons of tiny magic circles, even without cliche, most of the enemies have the magic circle power to p activate them. Well, to collapse those tiny magic circles wouldn't get damaged by it. I'm sure the plan is to survive the collapse and transport themselves to the surface. The three big nations would have snuck, sunk underground, and the land would be devastated. I'm sure we could survive being buried underground, but what would the folks on the ground think if they saw us climbing out to the surface? They would think that the newly awakened Demon and his men had conspired to destroy the nations, but why would people suspect us if our nation had been destroyed as well? Spending rumors that great rumor was putting on an act to try and convince people he wasn't behind it. On top of that, both Jargon and Sarion have massively high populations. If Falmouth and Tempest, which was poised to become the next center of distribution, both demolish, uh, the remaining nations would suffer heavily. They would just blame everything on us, on the surface, and then... It would sleep peacefully on the ground while the harvest festival is going on. Whole way of doing things. What's worse is that they are targeting all the nations that could prove our innocence. I can contact King Gazelle through thought communication. I want you to somehow inform Sarion that they are in danger. With that being said, it still feels odd. If they wanted sacrifices for creating demon lords, they could destroy the nations right now. Whatever the case, if you are going to stop them, we have to do it now. Once we get there, we'll split up into three teams and enter the caves beyond the three folk towards. You've got to be kidding. If you are going to dig a hole of this magnitude, at least use those capabilities for something decent. 
My team will start reinforcing the cave leading towards Tempest while communicating with Geld. From here, I guess Dragon would be the furthest. Then we'll take the vote to Dragon. Speed is kin. Guitar solos ought to be played fast. Whatever comes to mind, but sometimes there are some pretty perceptive words. Okay, I'm counting on you guys. Oh, snap. Notice you actually reinforced it in a snap. It goes without saying. I can create reinforcing materials by devouring the soil and limestone. Great remove. How can you tell which pillars are dangerous? I guess you could say it's occupational hazard of mine. Let me know if there are any fragile pillars that I may have missed. Sorry to have you guys out with the Tempest route, Biscuitus. I know the cave should stay on, would probably be closer. That's right, besides, like Lord Carrion said, we can see our surroundings in the dark. What's with that eye on your chest? Fabio? What was that f for, Sophia? That's my line. There you speak that way about a woman's best. No, you've got a wand. I was asking Oya oh, uh, Oka. Uh, I wanted to know if it was a real or just an accessory. It's real. I can really see since it's been. It's. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if it's uh, because of Dodomeki's clothes on, or the patterns on her skin, but my eyes keep wandering to some places. What's going on? We are being raided. We'll handle the enemies, so keep looking on the west. It stops it. They sense you because you were so hungry for action. It looks like the report was right. They are quite capable. That place looked pretty special after all. How perceptive of you. We are the first regiment of the Imperial Guards. Don't forget about us either. Let's go. Tempest Region Operation It didn't seem like they were transported just before they were about to die, a small magic circle activated at their feet. Then the enemies had their entire existence converted into magicals. They ended up wherever cliche is. Anyways, rescuing these folks come first. We are here to save you. Are we willing on to be saved? Yes, I'll transport you to Tempest for the time being. You'll be able to rest up and heal your wounds. There will be a huge oakin or a huff buff hobgoblin waiting for you on the sofas. Uh, you don't have to be scared. I'm transporting you now. I protected them with a barrier which I transported uh, when I transported them. But are they alright? Yes, they have arrived safely, however, some of them are having eye pain from not having seen the sun for so long. Big batch of potions was bought for them. Make sure to get some high potions for them, also just in case anyone's lungs ruptured. Bring some full potions as well. Managed to get in touch with Foos and Aaron. Saron should be able to reinforce the defenses now. Thanks for both of you. I'll contact you guys again later. I'm guessing there are still others in captivity. Challenge them and was defeated. The enemy does not use the violent skills in fear that the place may collapse. I hate that they are underestimating us, but it does work out in our favor. She's searching for the coordinates of that mirror world that Iris supposedly owns. I hate to even imagine, but if the three kins were defeated, we must act on our training to block them.
That's strange. We haven't encountered any enemies for a while now. What? Not that it's a bad thing. It seems that there are several other caves aside from here. That's pretty clever. Wait, who's that? The three biscuits used the phone. Just my imagination, or are they being given better treatments than the guys from before? They hold a great deal of respect for the three biscuits on the carry-on. That seems to be the case. Those are lower to the load and are here volunteering would work more efficiently than those forced to label on the threat. According to my appraisal, all of these living, living here are under the influence of cliches magic. I gather that you are here to see Lord Carrion, right? In that case, I shall show you the way to the new royal palace. Even if we were to tell them the truth, they probably wouldn't believe what we are saying. Does that hole you have been digging in here? It seems that they started digging here more recently than the other caves. There are similar holes all around this place. Everyone's so eager to keep on digging. Fortunately, unlike Jargon and Seon, which have been superpowers for many years, Tempest has only recently established. Digging towards Jargon and Seon for ages now, huh? That's why they still don't want to, they haven't made it collapse. They need to dig much further to make Tempest fall. Just to be safe, we'll block off the forest and hills nearby. They may be engulfed in the southern woods. Will to collapse. Thank you for such kind words. Show us the way. It may look like th there are two of me, but don't worry about it. It's basically like a double of me. Albus said it's hard not to pity them. That's why. That just makes my blood boil even more fake carry on. Surprise and use for reflections. It just makes my blood boil even more. What are you raging about? Are you upset that I made it rain blades on you? So that was your doing. Pretty logical main too, you know? Though his, this appearance makes me look like a mate head. Did you just ridicule our master? Are you prepared to die the last time we met? You ran off like a little rat. Stop yapping, you filthy beast. Breath is stinking up the place. I don't want to hear complaints about smells from a walking corpse. The Lord Karen is an imposter. What is it, Snake Woman? Well, exploded because of the loyalty to Karen. There's no way I can let them um, get caught up in the eyes of the Heavenly Snake. I've always given special treatment to those who want, want to serve me well. Why, for the times like this, you see, I know exactly how it feels to want to be loyal to someone. Just like this. Think you can protect the civilians while dealing with this spirit war, Bazabub? You can't beat me with the dirty trick like that. Did that? He just fiend it off. It's covered by a delete barricade. Do not expect to be able to devour it with Bazabub. He arrived quicker than his scream could reach me. If he can transport and cast barriers, he's basically as strong as cliche. For to hold back, you see, since I'm borrowing some of Lady Cliche's powers to cast barriers, make m much the same as Belzebub food chain. It seems like my growth is not the only factor here. You're pretty worn out from all those blades, huh? If you don't mind, could you transport the people behind us? They are completely bewildered. I can't get them caught up in this, but don't worry. We'll handle this imposter while you're at it. It's true that we won't stand a chance if we attack separately, but if we are, if we the beast keep 
Biscuitus, Lana Shion, Dolmiki, and Oka all team up for attack. I know we can win. Let's see what you have to say after we take you down. That's the only thing that's ever on my mind. Think about other things too. I'm counting on y'all. Quit moving around, you annoying little beast. Apparently, he's actually a white. After all, stopped evading and started blocking attacks. I guess it can't keep up with the actual link length of popes like us without using tele transportation magic. Unleash you and sticks like you did last time. I have been waiting for you to say that. What you mean to blast away this entire cave when we have been working so hard to reinforce it? Zodiac. This is getting ridiculous. You can't break as many barriers as you want, but they will just regenerate within a second. What the heck? Let's see what happens when you put a barrier in such close proximity, shall we? I'd appreciate it if you could include us in your barrier. Get away from me. Fire that it at me. Nothing claps. Wait, the two of them disappeared. Chose to become buffer material for Shion's magic bullets because they can be resummoned. Re you, you as well. It's converting itself into magicals. He's nothing like the real Lord Carry On. Just go down already. Am I right? Remember, of course, I won't go down easy. If I really wanted to, I'd heal myself over and over again. In other words, he's got a better chance of winning if he devotes himself to cliché. Serion Region Operation. This place isn't protected by a delete barricade. Maybe that woman isn't in the vicinity. That's good for us. We can then reinforce those caves without anyone interfering. What with portfolio? I mean, I can, but it will disappear over time. No need to worry about that. Can you freeze that pillow for me? Like this? Even if the cast of disappears effects said, uh, and the objects left behind by them set should remain. Won't they get brutal if I freeze them? That's where you come in, Koku. I hear that you have inherited Kobu skills. I want you to use the water from the ice and knead the soil, rocks, and limestone around to create reinforcements. We used to live in a cave and my brother still explores them often. You betcha! As you can see, he's a bit of a goof, but there's a scholar within him. Of course, this is the enemy's den. You never know when Cliché may activate her barrier. I can hear digging sounds from the net right, and I can sense powerful magicals from the left. I think it's safe to assume that it's the fake kin. Then Trishula, Koku, and I shall head to the right. And just in case Koku runs out of time and disappears, I'd like you to come along it. And you could immediately summon him, Benimaru. So that leaves Iris and Shiro and Soka. You don't have to flatter me. I'll just do whatever what needs to be done. Uh, all of you, stop evacu- ex Excavating? Evac- What? Excavating this very minute. This hole is going to destroy the foundation. White, you can't finish off a copse with half hearted attacks. The same goes for my hellfire. What do we do? Should Would it be possible to freeze the entire area? Like this? That's perfect. We can't relax just yet, but the fake will be much easier than before. 
All my fingers are rifled, so I shall kill them all over and over again until they are extinguished. What's with this place? Why is the ceiling so high? That's odd. If the ceiling is this close to the surface. That would be impossible. There are only weights around here. Corpses don't have bio biological reactions. Why is that? Because I'm a pursue the harpy. You are one. This place was designed to be the closest place for Lady Cliche to return to. A bunch of weights. Huh? She shows underestimating us. But instead, a whole bunch of males from various races without two or more these gathered to you, so I killed them all and turned them into rates. That's a horrible take on that fake fae. Master Sue and I will clear out the rates. I'll pluck its wing off every time. What's with this weak magic bullets? Aren't you going too easy on me? If I don't hold back, I may blow up this place. That being said, you have already committed countless sins. Why should someone like you care about what happens to Sarion? I actually care about Sarion, but if I screw this up, it will create all the sacrifices needed to build an army of 10,000. Both she and I are trying to make things right. I've never tried this before, but how's this? That blade, it feels similar to the weapon our droves make. I struck you once, now I just need to strike you six more times. I can, It can scatter, my portfolio can summon more than just cr the creatures I've created in the past. It can recreate the soul that I've been made with Haiku, Hayuka. This time it's going to cove, think you can dodge this one. Don't tell me you can't dodge them, besides you can get hit up to six times and still be alive. Dun Chen, don't take me for a fool. Don't think you have one just because you snuck up behind me. You may be capable of flying, but you are not used to it. Your fate and style is limited to ground combat. Unexpected assailant. You may be capable of flying, but you are not used to it. Your fighting style is limited to ground combat. If it's shooting, seems like you have never been struck on the head. Don't you know that you need to use your head and ears to maintain your posture up in the air? Funny how you were the one who called me in bold band. Stop choking you little, my vision's blowing, blowing again, uh, I thought my brain was studier than this. Activate body armor, now her winds have become solid, what in the world is going on? Next up, you taste my blade and taste blast at the same time, thunder slash shot. I miss what she's swooping down while striking. The further the distance, the wider the coverage a shadow scatter shot has. Soka, look up. Did she cast body armor on her wind? So that's what, what struck Iris. But she won't be able to stay in the air like that. She doesn't intend on flying back up. She's initiate, initially made a slope, a sharp plunge. But now she's in free, free fall, accelerating. She's going to put all that momentum into her next attack. If I use my scattering rainbow blast, there will be collateral damage to its iris. Your attack will only kill after seven hits, right? Perfect. I, oh, I get it. Right, so working on the ex evacuate. Excavation, block the path, push Sisue and Soka right under me. 
How convenient. I'll slice you into pieces. Where does she go? The shadows, uh, your fighting style seems to be Dragon Region Operation. Don't step on me, what did I have to do to you? My f lightning skills have pow powered up accordingly. How did you manage to blow my up my masterpiece? You didn't even cast in any explosive magic. Electrolyze the liquid used in the golem's joints and then parts acted as a flint simply by moving. Tell what my golem was made of and to manipulate electricity so skillfully. Both Gobta and I can use our sheaths as electromagnets and then blast shots by filling them with magicals. Or to pluck his strings nearby, it would react and act as an electrical signal. If we could amplify those signals and strings would sound louder and more distorted. I bet Guitar Wolf's going to be thrilled to find this out. Listen. I forgot to mention restless people like you disgust me. I forgot to mention... Uh, what? Ah, oh, why have you... we been digging here? It's just like that girl said, isn't this right beneath drill gone? Hurry up and start reinforcing, it may only be a quick fix, but we need to reinforce. Then that must mean that one approach in my way is the relentless warrior. What's one? Those jokes just now, they said that they were signed by the kin. It's too hard for me to fight. I don't want to hurt anyone or be hurt. I don't think it's no. I think it's normal to think that way, but the moment someone be bears evil attention in this world, conflicts start turning and that will eventually lead to a difficult battle. He'd get upset if I didn't give it my all, but he would also be equally upset if I went all out. And people being mad at me, but what scares me most is my own anger. It's okay, these, these sensations you experience are signs of true power. There's no way your own powers will ever betray you. Thank you. You're so fluffy. It's time for a ballad. I'll run at a moderate pace to so try to get some rest. What, what's that wolf, wolf talking about? I have no idea, but some of the, it sounds quite poetic. The uh, important thing is that it's will accent Shinza. I wasn't expecting you, judging from how little time has passed. Uh, Pekaru died. She must have been killed by someone else. Pitying those who kill, those who are ordered to kill, and even mourning no deaths. You have all that power, and yet I can't stay in that condescending hypocrisy. You can always start over. You can change your ways. It's just a lady Shuna I too know that feeling all too well, how you wish to save many people. As you can make up for all the lives that you have taken, but if you start believing that your enemies can repent for the sins with the deaths, then you would be admitting that you are a sinner who must repent for, for those that sins through death. That salvation that you seek is a form of atonement that only people like you or Great Rumu can accomplish. You are fine just the way you are if you can save people. Then you have, most people then you have sacrificed, I would say that you are doing is a form of righteous atonement. This battle is ill fitted for you as well. I may handle this on my own. It's not a matter of race, take a good look. The only ones on the swords here are me and that weight. Do you want me to fight too? It seems that this is the only one. He who speaks the language of swordsmanship. Without exception, if I'm up against an enemy who can control magicals, I do not hesitate to kill. 
And they get a kick out of displaying the power to be able to kill at will, but they can't stay in it when some of these spoils the fun. Intoxicated with the game of death, you'd rather kill yourself than live with the shame of defeat. Need they insult my swordsmanship, old man? Can I let you live our principle and situations to fall too greatly? This is all you are capable of. Your words are t far too leisurely, Shinza. There's no point in watching this fight. And in the blink of an eye, that was the first time you have seen me use that move, but I'm sure you have learned something from it. I said that there's no point in Shinza witnessing it. There's no need to feel heartbroken about an irredeemable impossible. That being said, it's not exactly easy to take down in a moving corpse, but you are far more ex inexperienced than my apprentice. Besides, thanks to you, I just remember the day I took on this phone. I'm back, comrades. How is progress? It's all going according to plan. Don't forget that. We are also one of those rights. The only reason we can move so freely is because of cliche. I only did it because I needed to, but it was a surprise to find out that Iris was created with the insides of a dying demon lord. Imagine my surprise at finding an empty body in the obsidian. Imagine my surprise at, uh, with Inards completely melted. It was simply when I performed necromancy on it that all you all took on your current forms. I'm only using demon load seeds that killed as my servants, so I don't really feel like you or me any thanks. We are all so grateful to have been awakened and for that we want to always serve you. Then let me ask you to do something for me. You mentioned that progress has been slow. I want you to bring more races in order to evacuate excavate more efficiently. Apprentice of Gazol of Jargon, I think we could trick a whole bunch of stray droves. If we use the fake carrying on and fray, we could uh, should be able to incorporate Leanthrop Popes and Hoppies into our excavation team. As we turn into the kins of those races, we'd be able to easily gather workers. It's not exactly in return. But I have made the magic engravings you asked for, those stone tablets that uh, just arrived. But I just hope that we'll never resort to using them. We are mortally wounded, our bodies will turn into magicals and become one with you. I couldn't wish for anything better. Also, if this place gets any bigger, let's set up the magicals with the same effect over, all over the place. I guess, but the effect will only be activated when they are murdered. I can't. Com they can't commit suicide. I chose my followers. Anybody would. I just want to live a good life with them. When you have lived as long as I have, things can get a little stale. What makes you and I so different? Don't tell me that it's a matter of good and evil. That would be too vague and naive. These magic, magic circles can only be activated by us. I'm a, I am a right. If I were to truly die, it would only be through holy magic or annihilation. I would heal myself over and over, fighting until I secured victory. If I ran into bat, a battle that cannot be won, no matter how long I keep fighting, I had chosen to dedicate my body to Lady Cliché. She's someone who cares deeply about her comrades. For this time, I'm going to disappear. I pray that you continue to live your life you desire until the end of time. Show them whose ideals are superior. He showed me true loyalty until the very end. You, his killers think they have the right to condemn him as evil. What hypocrisy! Has cliche already begun her plans?